What's up my video Rose Beauty Maniac here with week 6 challenges for Fortnite Battle Royale Season 6. Now we get into this with actually some really fun looking challenges. We have some simple ones that try to get you to use different things. And I really appreciate when Fortnite does that. When it tries to get you to switch from your typical loadout. Which is awesome. As uh, For example last week when they made people use hand cannons. I don't often use those but I had to pick one up. So this week we have place chillers in different matches, total of three. So three matches with a chiller trap isn't necessarily that hard, but you might have to play quite a few just in case you don't find any. Now, they aren't too hard to find, but there will be matches where you just don't seem to find any. And you have search a chest in different named locations. This one's easy if you just play generally a lot of games, like if you land at Pleasant Park, Paradise Palms, Lonely Lodge, Wailing Woods, Risky Reels, stuff like that. In fact, this doesn't have to be in different games. So if you can land to a uninhabited place of the map, like maybe Junk Junction, Haunted Hill, Snobby Shores, get all three of those, you could do this challenge relatively quick. But, like I said, if you do these challenge, if you do play a lot during the week, you don't even really need to concentrate on this one, it will happen. And then we have the first hard one of the week, three shotgun eliminations. I don't know why they think that one's hard. I mean, shotguns are pretty powerful. And then you have stage one, land at shifty shaft. So this looks like one of the ones that tries to get you to land at different places. And one thing that's really cool about this is the fact that this kind of coincides with the chest one in different named locations. Because if this is going to have you land at five different named locations and you search a chest there... You can kind of complete complete both at the same time, which is really fun. And you have deal damage with pickaxe to opponents. This one keeps popping up every season. I kind of hate it, but I kind of love it. I mean, it's not too often you can get the opportunity to pickaxe. So, to do this one, I would avoid solos if I were you. I would do squads or stuff like that, and every time you knock someone, as bad as it is to BM someone typically I just BM them with a pickaxe try to get as much damage as you can 250 seems like a lot but who knows in solos you might find someone who you can get into a pickaxe fight with and even if you lose that you typically can get off a good 70 to 80 damage in a good pickaxe fight before you die if you do lose and then the next one, find a sheet music and find the sheet music in Pleasant Park. This one looks like this one says it's going to be hard, so it should total 10 battle stars at the end. I don't know if it's going to be sheet music all the way through, but that actually kind of like that. It combines the little treasure hunt they typically have with exploration, which is kind of cool. And then you have stage one elimination with a common weapon, hard. I like this one. Because when you look at it, I th like I can see the setup because it's five stages. So I'm thinking common, uncommon, rare, legendary, epic, like all those, which is cool. Because like I said before, it gets you to change up your loadout a little bit. Because some weapons don't come in certain colors. So if you like to use certain weapons and that's all you use, then this is gonna make you use something else. I like how Fortnite does it, and as you can see, I'm still struggling to get the other challenges done. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you are new, and let's get ballooning. Bye.